Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, this, this weekend was a very big one uh, for the surf scene as some of our young surfers took part in the junior surf series that took place here in the Mother City. And we had our resident beach bums, Captain Kai and his team soaking up the sand, surf and sun. Take a look. Captain Kai here at Long Beach Comic Key and it's been the Billabong Pro Junior presented by Boss. All the top junior surfers in the country down here competing at the second event of the year. 75,000 random prize money on the line throughout the series and we've had some beautiful summer's days in the middle of winter. Day one on Friday, the surf was very small, very difficult for the surfers, but there was a good turnout. All the juniors were here, they all went out into the lineup, and at the end of the day, we pulled off a couple of heats. Day two, it was even smaller. It looked a little bit like the US Open at Huntington Beach with these drums, but they're gonna be professional surfers one day, so they've gotta learn how to surf all conditions. Sunday, it's been 26 degrees, hardly a breath of wind, and the swell slowly pushed in throughout the day, meaning that the surfers had way better conditions to compete for at the Billabong Pro Junior. Some of the highlights for the day for the crowd on the beach, the Von Zipper Brain Blast Air Show, some of the country's top juniors out there trying to do the biggest airs possible. Jose Faulkner coming close. And at the end of the day, it was Jared Faltes from Comiki with a huge area pulling it off and taking the win. 12 pairs of sunglasses, one for every month of the year. In the finals, in the under 12s, it was York van Jasfeld, another little local kid from Comiki. He surfed way beyond his years, showing very mature style and some aggressive surfing to take the under 12 title. But in the under 14 girls, Kirsty McGillivray from Jeffreys Bay coming out on top in a tough heat against the other girls. Sebastian Williams from Mexico taking the win in the under 14 boys in his second event. Right in the under 16 girls, another local taking the win in Ruth Armstrong. We'd see her brother Max up in the pro junior boys. Under 16 boys was one of the most tightly contested finals of the day. In the end though, local Cape Town kid, Jake Elkington, he has been surfing these events for years, he's never won one, today was his day, showing some very good surfing. To take out the win and beat two or three of the big name boys ahead of him, he's going to be a man to watch out for going towards the point. In the Pro Junior Women's, no surprises really, Emma Smith has been dominating this division for a couple of years now. She's also made the Springbok side today, and she showed why winning that heat with absolute ease. Yeah, the sun was out, the waves picked up, we had half an hour heat, and it was just lots of fun. Pro Junior boys, these guys are the guys about to embark on pro tours out on the ASP World Tour, and it was local boy Max Armstrong fighting off a big challenge from Stephen Sawyer to take the win. Max going right, going left, it didn't matter. He got the scores he needed. He had all of the field comboed at one point, and he was a well-deserved winner in the Pro Junior Boys. So that's a wrap from Cormacki at the Billabong Pro Junior Series. Captain Carr, I'll be back at the end of the month with Red Bull X-Fighters for you guys on the Expresso Show, and I look forward to seeing you then.